So hey guys and welcome back to Born Traveller. Right in this video I'm going to talk about a product I've been using for a long time. Uh, basically it's called WISE, formerly known as TransferWISE. Okay, let's get started. What is WISE? Well WISE is a company that you use to transfer money around the world. Uh, it's much cheaper and much more efficient than banks. In the olden days the only way to transfer money really was by Western Union or by your own bank. And both of these institutions were really expensive to, to transfer. For example, if you want to transfer $1,000 to a different country, you were looking at least charges, at least $30 to $100. And these charges are just ridiculous. You know, it's just ridiculous how much these companies were making out of you. It made it almost impossible as a traveler to get decent value or exchange rates when you need to transfer money around the world, say from one bank account to another. Or for example, a parent who wants to send emergency funds to their child in say Thailand, you know, it costs them a lot of money to send it almost to the point where they don't really want to do it. And then a few years ago, a company called TransferWise appeared, offering incredible value for transferring money from one bank account to another foreign bank account around the world. It seemed too good to be true, but as this company went on and people started to realize they were legitimate and it was quite safe to transfer with them, they started to use it more. This company now, Wise, formerly known as TransferWise, is now worth about five billion pounds and is backed up by Barclays, which is Britain's biggest bank. The first thing to understand is WISE is not a traditional bank. It is what you call a fintech company. So it's basically an app that you would use, but it is backed up by Barclays, so your money is safe. So how much does it cost? Well, to send $1,000 uh, to a European bank account, it costs around $9.50. Compared to a normal bank, which would probably charge you around $30, that's a 66% saving. So if you send 1,000 US dollars to a European bank account, you would get 816 euros back, which is pretty good value really. The next thing to mention is TransferWise will give you almost exactly the same rates as the official bank exchange rates of that country. The easiest way to check this is to go on xe.com and have a look at their exchange rate. They tend to be the best exchange rates you can get and will give you a good indicator of how much the uh, currency is at that present time. So how do we do this? Well, you can either do it one or two ways. You can go to the desktop uh, website uh, at wise.com or you can download the WISE app from the Google Play Store or the App Store on iOS. So why do I recommend this particular company? Well, I think it's all about trust. XE.com is actually probably slightly cheaper than TransferWise, but I would still reuse TransferWise over XE.com because I, I know that their service is reliable. When I travel, I always use WISE. It is, for me, the best company to use as a traveler. Now, I understand that not everybody will be able to access this particular bank, However, the US, the UK, Australia, and New Zealand, Canada, and most of Europe can all apply for a TransferWise account. It's really worth doing. Also, if you're from UK or Europe, you can also uh, apply for a borderless account with WISE. This is basically an online app that acts like a bank, but also gives you a debit card, a master debit card. It's fantastic for traveling. I recommend a borderless account. It really, really is quite useful. It's a little bit complicated to explain, but basically this is, the, this is how it works. You download the app, you apply for the card. After a few days, you'll receive the card. You can then either top up your borderless account from your traditional bank, or you can have your wages paid directly into your borderless account. The advantage of this particular account is that you can hold multiple currencies. For example, you can have US dollars, UK pounds, euros, Australian dollars, and about 30 or 40 different currencies. They also give you a plethora of bank accounts from around the world where you can have the local currency paid in from a local firm. For example, they give you UK bank details, US, Australia, Canada, New Zealand, uh, Europe, uh, Singapore, and quite a few others from around the world. WISE is also at the cutting edge of online technology. For example, you can log into the app and just freeze your debit card. It's as simple as that. You can also create virtual cards online, including Visa cards, which means let's say you're in the Dominican Republic of Congo and you need to make an online transaction and you're worried about security. You can create a virtual card, use it for that particular transaction, and then basically cancel the card. Maintaining the security of your account and also your traditional debit card. To be honest, on the borderless account, the features are almost endless. There's so much things you can do with it. You can set up direct debits, 
You can also set up saving jars, which are separate from your main account, again, protecting your money. And you can have them in different currencies. You can have as many as you want. So if you're saving for a flight, you're saving for a holiday, or you just want to put your savings separate from your normal money, you can do that. I've traveled to around 15 different countries from around the world using the borderless account. And I have to say, yes, I've had a few problems where banks didn't accept their particular card, but in the majority of places, it was widely accepted. The fees are not expensive when you take them out, and you also will get warnings on the app if the bank is trying to charge you a lot of money. I'm going to leave a link in the description of where you can view uh, and download the app. Also, you can go to the desktop website. So if you watch the channel, you will know already that I've had previous experience with accounts like this, i.e. Revolut. Revolut are Wise's direct competitor, and on paper they sound really good, but ha having dealt with them, I have to say that they were probably the most untrustworthy company I've ever dealt with. And I get regular emails um, and regular comments on my YouTube channel suggesting how bad they are. Whereas I've had a few about TransferWise and I'm not saying they're perfect, but I, in general, I found them very trustworthy from my personal experience. So if you're looking for a travel card and a travel account where you can transfer money and receive money from around the world, I really recommend WISE. Please do not get a Revolut account. It really isn't worth it, guys. Your money probably will get frozen and you'll spend a lot of time trying to get it back. Okay, guys, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I really recommend uh, using WISE as, as your banking when you're traveling. Please remember to subscribe to the channel, turn on the notification button, and I'll see you next time.